Hey, it is once again time to announce the next 10 winners, or wieners as I like to call them, of the Glock Perfection Patch Giveaway. If you go over to TYMPPistolProject.com, we are having a fundraiser for Fur Friends Animal Rescue to try and save the lives of eight Parvo puppies. So if you want to help save the lives of those puppies, go over to TYMPPistolProject.com, donate $10 or more, and every day from the people that donate that day, I choose 10 people randomly to win one of the very rare and exclusive Glock Perfection patches. And like I said, today I need to announce the winners for yesterday. But if you want to be on the list to win today, go ahead and go over there and donate. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to talk about one little thing here. I just want to point out something that I have found very funny over the last couple of days. Speaking of Glocks. Well, if you follow Glock on Twitter or Instagram, etc., you know they're doing a little uh, thing right now where they're asking people to pledge to follow the four. They're promoting gun safety and asking everyone, you know, you have to pledge to follow the four. It's what we should all do as gun owners. And I think this is really funny because we know, you know, those tacty tards or Glock tards that love Glock so much are often so fond of appendix carrying. You know, they go around all day with their handgun pointed at, you know, little Henderson and the Harrys. That's not a good idea if you ask me. And if you follow rule number two, like Glock put up right here, you shouldn't be doing that. Now, I know there's a lot of people who love to say, uh, oh, there's so many advantages to appendix carry. That's what makes it worth the risk. Uh, but then when you ask them, okay, what are these advantages and how likely are they to be uh, of use to you and how dangerous is it to actually point a lo loaded gun at your dingleberries and your femoral artery all day? Uh, once you ask them to actually stand up and defend that and actually you know, present it in that format, their response is usually, you're a fag! Uh, or you're a FUD. Uh, I don't know what it is nowadays, but it seems like a lot of younger gun owners have learned the word FUD, but they don't know what it means. So they'll say, if you don't like Glocks, you're FUD, even though that doesn't mean that at all. Or you don't appendix carry, you're FUD. Uh, well, if, if being a FUD means you don't want to point a loaded gun at, you know, little Yankee and the boys down there all day, then call me a FUD, but that ain't what a FUD is. So learn what a FUD is and start using it correctly. It looks bad when people use words wrong. Uh, it's one of my pet peeves. But like I was saying, this is just really funny. Uh, go over and if you follow Glock on Instagram, read the comments from the Glock Tards and the Tacti Tards about following the second and how they'll make every excuse to not follow that one, but then they want to act like they're the Tacti gods who, you know, know the rules and they're so well trained and most of them don't even probably have never even paid rent. They still live in their mother's basement. I think they know everything. They probably watched a Jaeger video. Uh, so uh, go over, just read it. It's funny. It's funny to watch Glock themselves make a lot of the Glock Tards cry. You know, just making them all over the place on the, on those uh, comment sections. So if you like a good laugh, go over and read those because they're kind of funny. But for now, let's just read the winners uh, of the patch from yesterday. Uh, and you can see here how organized of a person I am and how liter uh, computer uh, uh, literate I am. I write everything down uh, by hand, even though I'm sitting at the computer writing it down by hand because I'm not very smart. But I'm sure that's making a lot of good paper wrinkling noise in the uh, camera here or in the microphone. But all right, let's go. Here are the, the 10 patch winners for June 4th. Uh, number one, uh, that was me trying not to burp, by the way. Uh, number one is Robert Owens. Robert Owens. See, nice, simple name. Uh, Caleb Johnson is number two. Uh, Caleb's a nice, simple name, too, although I always assume someone might be simple with their name Caleb, because I always picture like some Mennonite standing there like, me no like technology. Uh, whenever I hear the name Caleb, I don't know why, I just do. Uh, they got to be wearing overalls, neck beard, you know, the whole thing. Uh, the next name is Geary. I don't know if it's pronounced Geary or Gary. I think I've dealt with this name before, but it sounds like you're from like Minnesota going Geary when it's just Gary. Uh, and her last name is Bowl Rice, like a bowl of rice. So uh, the next name is Roland Klontz. Okay, that's a nice name to have to go through life with. And then right after Roland, we have a Ronald. Ronald Cruz, Ronald Cruz, like Chevy Cruz. I think it's spelled the same even. Uh, the next one, I like to say like Ricky Lucas, you know, and there's a reason I like to say Ricky Lucas. 
Uh, and some people might get that reference. If you get that reference, say in the comic section why you do. But Ricky Lewis, Lucas is the next one. Uh, then we have Austin Ribbit or Ribby. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, then we have John Balar Guion Bal. I can't pronounce that one either. Uh, I hope I spelled it right because the way I spelled it, it looks like it shouldn't be spelled that way. We'll just call you Johnny Ballerina. But Johnny Ballerina, you're the, the next winner here. Uh, then we have Chris Chillcoat, just like yours a chill in the air, take a coat. And then we have this can't be their real name, I hope Stone Stone. Uh, now, I know people do have the first name Stone and last name Stone, but, you know, I have a, I had a friend in college named Robert Roberts, and that was just cruel, so this would be cruel, too. My, my, although my oldest son, his middle name is Stone. Uh, his middle name when we got him was Austin Stone. He had two middle names because he was named after Stone Cold Steve Austin. They kind of just reversed it and made his middle name. But uh, when he changed his last name, he dropped the Austin because he never liked it, so his middle name is Stone. But those are the 10 winners for yesterday, June 4th. Uh, if you want to be in the running to win one of the patches today, like I said, go over to the TYMP Pistol Project, click on that pop-up that pops up to donate. There'll be a link in the upper corner of this video over to the website. Click on the pop-up. If you don't have pop-ups, you have pop-up blocker. There's a little window right in the middle. You can just click on and donate. Donate $10 or more to the Fur Friends Animal Rescue, and you will be uh, in the running to win one of the 10 patches for today. If you're one of the people that won today for yesterday, uh, send me an email. In the subject line, put uh, perfection patch, and then in the body of the email, just put your address, just like you would write it on an envelope. Uh, send that over to shootingleftofcenter at gmail.com and we'll be getting those patches out here pretty soon, hopefully right after we're done here. I might even send the list over today for the first half, but go ahead, let us know uh, your address if you're one of the winners, and if you're not one of the winners, go over, donate, and be in the running tomorrow.